Do you want to know some prices in and around a variety of neighborhoods in Toronto? I'll get to it in a second. I'm Sandra Inamato, and if you've been looking into the Toronto real estate market or thinking of buying, selling, downsizing in and around Toronto and the GTA, then this channel is for you. Make sure you tap that subscribe button and click the bell so you're notified every time we post a new video. And if you're looking to start your real estate journey or just want to learn something, go ahead and click the link in the description below and let's start a conversation. Now, let's get started. I'm going to tell you about some pricing for two-story homes in and around the Toronto area broken down by neighborhood. I'm not going to hit every neighborhood. If you have any questions, please reach out. I'd be happy to give you the information you're looking for. Across the Toronto region, we're seeing a benchmark price for a two-story home over $1.3 million, $1,358,400 as a benchmark price. In Toronto, we're seeing a number that's slightly higher at $1,666,800. Uh, in the C1 Toronto area, we're looking at $1,393,900 as a benchmark. To give you some examples, in Kensington, Chinatown, we're looking at $1,357,400. Uh, Little Portugal, 1,279,700. In Little Italy, Palmerston area, 1,530,600. Also University, 1,507,200. And then in the waterfront communities, not a whole lot there, but 742,700. In Trinity Bellwoods, the benchmark price is 1,433,000. $200. This is as of December 2023. In the annex, you're looking at a price of $2,102,300 as a benchmark price for a two-story home in December 2023. Casa Loma, you're looking slightly higher at $2,777,500. Witchwood area is lower at $1,323,800. And the Young and St. Clair area, no surprise, is over $3 million at $3,027,000. Forest Hill South, even higher than that, no surprise, $3,773,500. This is a benchmark, not an average, a benchmark. In the Humewood Cedarvale area, we're looking at $1,686,300. Oakwood Vaughan, slightly lower at $1,096,300. That's $1,096,300. And in the Young and Eglinton area, over $2 million at $2,076,500. Bedford Park, Northtown, is $3,195,900. Englemount Lawrence, we're looking at $2,497,000. In Forest Hill North, you're looking at $3,047,100. Lawrence Park North, $2,094,300, and Lawrence Park South, $2,774,900. Bathurst Manor showing a benchmark price for a two-story home at $1,836,800. Clanton Park, $2,330,000. In Lansing Westgate, we have $2,372,000. Uh, Newton Brook West, we have over $2,000,000. Westminster Branson, you're looking at 1.2 million as benchmark price. Willowdale West, you're at $2,405,000. In Cabbage Town and South St. James Town, you're looking at 1.8. Church Young Corridor, 1,950,700. In Moss Park, we have a number of 1,468,000 as a benchmark. North St. James Town is 1,500,000. Regent Park is also 1,500,000. Rosedale Moore Park, you're looking well over 3 million, almost 4 million at 3,922,400 as a benchmark price for a two story home. In Mount Pleasant East, we have 2,042,000. And in Mount Pleasant West, we have 2,274,000. In Leaside, you're looking at $2,523,000. In the Bridal Path, we're well over $4 million at $4,503,000. St. Andrew Windfields is at 3.6. Don Mills, you're looking at a benchmark price of 2.5. In Parkwoods, Donelda, 
we're looking at 1.8, and in Victoria Village, down around 1,067,000. In Newtonbrook, in Newtonbrook East, you're looking at 2.485, and in Willowdale East, you're looking at 2.7. Bayview Village, you're looking at 3.143, that's 3,143,000. In Bayview Woods, Steeles area, you're looking at 1,935,000. Don Valley Village is 1,774,500. Henry Farm is showing a benchmark price of 2,354,300. Hillcrest Village is coming in at 1,567,000. And Pleasant View is at 1266000 The Blake Jones area has a benchmark price for a two-story home of $1,367,000. Greenwood Coxwell at $1,186,000. North Riverdale at $1,760,000. And South Riverdale at $1.268. East End Danforth, you're looking at $1,255,000 as a benchmark price. The Beach. 2 million, just over 2 million at 2 million, 4,800. Woodbine Corridor, 1,231,200. Broadview North, just under 1.3. Crescent Town is coming in at 1,088,000. The Danforth, 1.3. Danforth Village, East York, 1,261,000. East York is 1,560,000. O'Connor Parkview is 1,405,700. Plater Estates, you're looking at 1,960. Birchmount, you're looking at about 991,600. Dorset Park, 921,800. Kennedy Park, just over a million. Wexford, Maryvale, you're at 1.126. Lamoureux, you're looking at 1,352,000. Steeles, 1,358,000. And Tam O'Shanter Sullivan, $1,491,000. In Oak Ridge, you're just over a million. And in Birchcliff Cliffside, you're at 1.487. Agent Court North, you're looking at 1.2. Agent Court South, Malvern West, you're looking at about 1,230,000, and in Millican, 1,186,100. In Cliffcrest, the benchmark price for a two-story home is 1,384,000. Eglinton East is 1,091,000. Uh, Guildwood, 1.2, and Scarborough Village, 1.6. Bendale, you're just over a million. Morningside, 1,159,000, and Woburn is 1,079,000. Centennial Scarborough, you're coming in at 1,357,000. Highland Creek, 1,462,000. The Rouge E10 is 1,256,000. And West Hill is just over a million. Rouge E11 is 1,092,600. In Malvern, 915,000. In the West End, High Park Swansea is just under 2 million at 1,946,000. Roncesvalles, 1.4. South Parkdale is 1,465. And Dovercourt Wallace Emerson Junction is just under 1.3 million. High Park North coming in at 1,929,000. Junction area, 1,219,000. And Runnymede Floor West Village, 1,645,200. In Corso Italia Davenport, we have just over 1 million at a million and 58,300. Caledonia Fairbank, 989,000. Keelsdale, Eglinton West, 992,500. Rockcliffe Smythe, over a million, just over a million, 1 million, 42,600. And Weston Pelham Park, 954,400. In New Yorkdale Glen Park, you're looking at 2,095,000. Weston is 1,015,000. Rustic is 1,090,000. Mount Dennis is 934,000. Maple Leaf is 1,246,900. So as you can see, every area, every neighborhood has a variety of prices to offer. So if you're looking for specific information and I'm not saying the area that you're looking for, please reach out to me. I'd be happy to give you the information.
Black Creek, we're seeing a number of 928,100. In Downsview, we see just over a million at a million and 42,700. Humber Mead, 884,500. York University Heights, 1,102,500. In Alderwood, the benchmark price is $1,183,900. Long Branch is $1,360,000. Mimico is $1,351,700. And New Toronto is $1,171,100. Stonegate Queensway coming in at $1,692,700 for a two-story. That's the benchmark price in December 2023. In Edenbridge, Humber Valley, we're seeing numbers of 2.6 million. The Etobicoke West Mall is 1,459,000. Islington City Center West, 1.7. Kingsway South, 2,593,300. Markland Woods, 1,594,800. And Princess Rose Thorn, 2,472,100. Humber Heights, we're seeing a benchmark price of 1,585. Kingsview Village, the Westway, 1.6. Elms, Old Rexdale, 935,000. Mount Olive, Silverstone, Jamestown, 936,700. Rexdale, Kipling, 908,000. And Thistletown, Beaumont Heights, 1,106,700. What are some of the things you'd like to know about the Toronto real estate market? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget, to like and subscribe. See ya.